Daddy has prayed for you, and I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Because I saw HIV on you. Yes, that's huh? true. That's true. So I'll pray for you. But I'm surprised. Are you? I'm hearing something like issues of ministry. Yes. Huh? I'm called. Yes. Who told you that you're called? Uh, plus, plus, minus five prophets. They told me the same. Thing. What? Five prophets. Five prophets. Yes. Who are those prophets? One is uh, my spiritual father where I submit, and the other one is uh, certain prophets are thinking. Did you so tell? Did, do they know you are sick? No, they don't know. And then how do they see calling and they don't they don't see sickness? I don't know. I don't know if you understand my point. Yeah, I understand. I get it. I'm saying, how do they see calling, but they can't see this sickness? Because no one knows. No one knows. Yes. And to be honest with you, God loves you so much, and I love you so much. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So I'm just worried that why would somebody tell you about a calling? And they can't see this. Now my question is: Is it God who? Because they are supposed to to see this problem first. Amen. Before you can speak about a calling. Amen. You know, sometimes people can end up saying we don't hear from God because of things like this. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. I will pray for you. Amen. You are my brother. I love you. Amen. And God, God has healed you already. Amen. Are you ready? Jesus. People are so very much afraid of HIV. Amen. And they do always say HIV is like flu. Because there's no disease that is above the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Believe there's me. no disease that is what? It's above the Holy Spirit. And God wants to give you, I don't know, I don't, you know, <laughs> people can, the reason, God wants to lift you. Amen. And you know what I wanted to say. I know. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. Some people can, because they want to bring you close. Amen. Huh? I know. I know that. <laughs> you know, um, there's one thing that God has taught me, yeah? Amen. Always people always say to me, Run away from money. Amen. And if you do that, I'll bless you. So Amen. now you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. You know, money can make people to end up speaking wrong things. Amen. So God is going to bless you. Amen. But I'm seeing a car. And this one has huh? got two cars. Huh? Got two I'm cars. seeing another one. Another one. I receive men of God. <laughs> I receive a third one. <laughs> no, you understand what I'm trying to say. Amen. You know, I, I'm not speaking against anyone. Amen. What I'm saying is, there are some churches when you go to, because now they can see your watch that is Rolex. They say, come and sit here in front. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> huh? I had to run away from another church. So huh? I, went, I went there. So he stole my car, so they say I must sit in front. So. Uh, you think I'm joking? Oh, you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. I'm telling uh, him what he knows. There are people, they see, uh, yeah. they see Rolex, and they look at your shoes and say, Hey! <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. They know the tithe will come being big like this. And they forget there's death that is coming. I mean, whatever that we do here, one day we'll die. I mean, I'm telling you, Amen. one day we'll die. Yeah, that's my problem. That's why I can't visit other churches when I go there. Huh? In some churches when I visit, that's my problem. It's yeah. money. Eish. It's money. Money is ruling Eish. people. So I'll pray for you. God is going to help you. Amen. You demon. You demon. You demon. You demon. Lift him up. You demon. Leave this man. Leave this man.
come out. You demon. Have you ever been in a Sangoma? Huh? Not that I remember. No, no, no. Have you ever my been in a Sangoma? My sister, she's one. Huh? My sister, she's one. Because when I'm praying for you, I'm feeling a spirit that is pushing me. And my sister, she's a Sangoma. Yes. And this spirit is telling me that I must stop what I'm doing. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm feeling a spirit of a Sangoma. Yes. That is pushing me away. And I heard that leave him. We want to deal with him. Come out, you sangum. Yes, my name is Simon. Yes, I confirm all the prophecy that has been prophesied upon me. It's true. Why are you saying it's true? Refer it back yes. to your life. Yes, referring back to my life, uh, I know yes. that most of the people, they, yes, no. they want to be around me because of money and stuff. So. You know, I, I'm not speaking against anyone. Amen. What I'm saying is, there are some churches when you go to, because now they can see your watch that is Rolex. They say, come and sit here in front. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> huh? I had to run away from another church. So oh. I, went, I went there, so he saw my car, so they said I was sitting in front. The man of God also spoke about the, the spirit of Sangoma. Yes, that my sister is a Sangoma. Yes. And, and, and the sickness also. Yes. And this sickness that you were coming across in life, how was it affecting you? It was really affecting me because based on you know what I have in life, so sometimes I'm not married, so I feel as if all what I have is just gonna vanish. So, and also, another prophecy about the calling it's, it's true. Yes. Uh, what I can say now is I, I need to get married, yes, I need a wife. And how are you feeling right now as all these things have been said to you? I thank God that God has covered all the areas and. Some of them I was aware of them, but some of them I was not aware. So I thank I thank God that he, he managed to to make them known to me. What can you say to the viewers out there? You know the the, the covering of this house, yeah, and prophetically, and you know, yeah, you know the God is working wonders in this place. Yeah. That's all I can say.